So here, write down this number, 63. Write down the number 63. Write down the number 63. Subtract 5 from it. 5 work days. What do you get? 58 work days left. 58 work days left. And what I'm asking you to do is run through the finish line. Run through the finish line, talk to more people, do more of what we're supposed to do. So I wrote down, so what does run through the finish line mean? It means go the extra mile. It means do your job. It means get up every day, every work day, and do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. We already went through the numbers. We already talked about the advantage of working the fourth quarter. So what I wanted to, well, and I wrote down here your job. So your job for the next 58 days is to turn over more rocks and do it faster and stay at it longer than your competition. Simply put, turn over more rocks, talk to more people, look for more leads, turn over more rocks, do it faster, and stay at it longer than your competition over the next 58 days. And you will win the race. You don't have to work 24 hours a day. You don't have to work seven days a week. But you have to do this work from that perspective. So we started off earlier today with my asking you what was the most important word, in your opinion, in the real estate business? One word. You could choose one word. I asked you to write it on the back of a card. So there's a, I don't know, 70 or 75 of you here. And we have this many that wrote down not what I think is the right answer. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six that wrote down what I believe is the right answer. So I want you to write down what I think the right answer is. And these six people tended to agree. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw. One of those six people is going to win 100 bucks. <laughs> and, well, it's only cool if you wrote down the right number. <laughs> you can change it. <laughs> the word is attitude. Uh, Woo! Six of you. Now, some of the other words are great words. We have some great words in there. But in my opinion, in the sales business, in the business of life, the single most important word is attitude. Your attitude to the deal, your attitude to the business, your attitude to getting up in the morning, your attitude to prospecting, your attitude to the problem at hand, your attitude toward the interruptions that you're going to ultimately have, your attitude toward that deal that's starting to fall apart and take you out of the game, your attitude toward these 58 days. So, please pick don't look, and please pick one of these people. I'm going to blame the new girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our winner this morning is Rick Kessler. Draw, draw, draw somebody else. Draw one of the other. Yeah. It's not Rick Kessler. <laughs> okay, there you go. And the winner this morning is Joe Salazar! All right, Joe, come on up, get your 100 bucks, quick! Quick, before somebody else does, fast! Because along with attitude is action! Congratulations, buddy. Good job, good job, good job. And does Joe always have a good attitude? Yeah. He does, he has a great attitude. You bet he does, absolutely, absolutely. Victor Frankel wrote, 
everything can be taken from a man but one thing. That one thing is to the ability to choose your attitude in any given situation. And Viktor Frankl wrote a book because he lived through the Holocaust. He lived in a concentration camp. And he, in this concentration camp, he saw people that were surviving and people that weren't surviving. And that people were working with their situations and people that couldn't work with their situations. If there's a great book that you haven't read and haven't had an opportunity to, it talks about your attitude and your approach to life. Viktor Frankl's book is fantastic. In the last few years, Harvard and Stanford did some research, and they came up with attitude is far more important than intelligence, education, special talent, or luck. How many people do you know that have had great educations and aren't that big a deal, aren't that successful? How many people do you know that don't have a lot of education? They don't have a great background. They came from the other side of the tracks. And yet, because of attitude, they've done very, very well in life. The study goes on to say, that 80, it says here, when you get a job, so when you apply, when you do a listing presentation, are you applying for a job, yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, you bet. When you start working with a buyer, are you applying for the job of helping them find a house, yes or no? Yes. Okay, well, the Harvard study talks about 85% of the time, people get a job. This is their study. Not because of skills, not because of the school they went to, not because of their parents. 85% of the time, they get the job because of attitude. Their attitude toward the approach. Their attitude toward the business. They say that the starting point for all success is forming a good attitude. Now, write this down. You are not born with your attitude. You didn't come out of the womb going, whoa, man, I love today. I am hot. I am ready to go. I can take on everything. You also didn't come out saying, man, this place sucks. I can't stand it. This is horrible. You didn't come out one extreme or the other. You see, your attitude is learned. Your attitude is layers and layers and layers and layers of stuff that you've learned over life, the good and the bad the ups and the downs. But it, well, the beauty of attitude is what was learned can be what? Unlearned. Unlearned. <clears throat> you can work on it. So we are today as a is, is as a result of the attitudes that we learn. We form <laughs> thoughts and feelings based on what we tell ourselves. We think about what I just said. You see, I believe right now that the next 58 days and the success that you will have, quote unquote, running through the finish line, is going to be based on 85% attitude, 15 to 20% skills and aptitude. Zig Ziglar, may you rest in peace, said for years, it's your attitude not your aptitude, that will determine your altitude. We need to focus on making that happen. So what I want to do is I want to show a quick video. You guys want to come over here?